here is my 1985 Sinclair C5 and it's just come out of the garage for the spring. It's an electrically assisted tricycle, if you don't know. And you'll hear a lot of things about these vehicles and a lot of them aren't true. Um, and this is a, an original unmodified Sinclair C5. I actually find it quite a fun, useful uh, vehicle. I get to work in it uh, sometimes. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm planning to do some sympathetic upgrades to it uh, this year. Now the first thing is that uh, until this year I've been driving it on this 36 amp hour lead acid car battery. <laughs> um, actually it does quite a good job. Uh, when I uh, first got it I was easily getting 15-20 miles range out of that and a good good turn of speed despite what you might hear um, and uh, uh, the problem is though over the last couple of years this is starting to lose its juice and um, now I really am not getting very much range out of it at all so it's time to upgrade the battery and instead of that I have bought this which is a lithium polymer uh, battery and much much lighter it's 30 amp hours but I think that should be give at least the same range as a brand new lead acid battery and of course it's considerably lighter so we should even go a bit faster the problem is on this we have bolts that come as standard as M5 bolts and on the Sinclair C5 we actually have these car battery sized um, terminal connectors which are really useful because you can just quickly uh, release them and, and take the battery in with you so it doesn't get nicked. Um, so I've got to find a way to change these fittings on this battery to um, M8 size which uh, is what I've got on some car terminal post adapters. Um, so that's my first upgrade job and that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to try and get these automotive style battery posts that will clip onto the fittings I've got onto the C5 into this lithium polymer battery. So I'll be increasing the size of the hole from 5mm to 5.5, 6, 6.5 and the last one should be 6.8 and then I will drill or tap uh, or cut um, a thread for M8. Drilling this out carefully step by step. Um, so I've nearly finished getting this up to the diameter where I can cut the thread. So Okay, so I'll try and just start it at a gentle speed on it, I'll start the grip, and then it bites, I have to pull it out again. I really want a, um, like a drill press, where I could go down into it like that, but I don't have one. Um, it didn't seem worth buying it just for one job. I'm just hoovering out the stuff that's coming out and just checking that I'm not actually drilling into the battery itself. But I'm going super slowly on this and going backwards and forwards a bit as I'm going down. There seems to be biting in and cutting a thread. That sort of looks reasonably vertical. Getting close to a, a usable thread, I might just try the per terminals and then do a little bit more. Yeah, it goes in. I'm never going to get that right in because there's just not enough depth on the terminal post, but I hope that's going to kind of work as a connection. I'm going to drill a, as deep as I can or, uh, or cut the thread as deep as I can go to get that 
bolts in. I got the terminal post screwed in, they go in really nicely. I'm getting voltage across the two uh, posts, so it looks like I haven't killed the battery, which is great. So all I need to do now is plug it into the C5 and see whether it works. I thought I'd do a before and after test. So I've got the lead acid battery in there and I will uh, uh, see what it's like with that and then put the new battery in it. Right, so I'm powering up. And for this, I have to lift the, the back wheel. It's only powered on this wheel. And uh, pressing the power button. So that's the old battery. I'll take this out, turn it power down. And you see what a hassle it is to get this thing out. Easier. Right, here goes. Powering up. Oh, we got lights on the pod. Nothing's blowing up. I'll turn the lights on. Yeah, we've got, we've got lights on the front and the back. These are LED lights, which is another upgrade I did last year. So they're nice. Now the moment of truth. Yeah. Woo. So I think I can notice that that's, that's powering it better. It's going faster. So that is part one of my upgrades complete but it's not quite ready to go for a test drive. Uh, although this thing has a chassis that was designed by uh, Lotus, it has no suspension and you're entirely reliant on the tires. And it has the original 1985 tires uh, that it came from the factory with on. So my next upgrade will be to give me a bit of a softer ride. So then I will take it out for a test drive after that. Although. I think I will just go for a little drive around the garden, I think. So, um, yeah, see you for part two. Ah!